Christina Sadler and the rest of the Christy Reese group. Woo! And it's circle fun time and it is one of our favorite times every quarter because we get to give money to the wonderful organizations in our community. So we have $27,000 to give today. How awesome Heck yeah. Yeah. How awesome is that? Good Woo! job. Yeah. Yeah. It's Good awesome. job team. Yeah. Heck yeah. Awesome. So um, let's see. It wouldn't be possible without the support of our incredible clients. So we definitely yes. want to thank all of our clients that uh, use the Christie Reese Group to buy and sell real estate and help us give back to the community. Thank you for voting and making this happen. Yeah. Thank you. So if you haven't joined us for the Circle Fund events before, each one of the agents on our teams gives 2% of our revenue back to our Circle Fund, which is then voted on by you guys for local nonprofits to receive the funds. So that's why we're here today. We're gonna celebrate and give some money away. Yeah. Okay, are we ready? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Our first recipient of $2,000 is the High Fives Grand Junction Robotics Team. Okay, let's, let's hold this up for the camera, yay. Yay. So, um, okay, this is an extracurricular STEM program available to students across the valley. The High Fives provide an intense and challenging program that is both educational and competitive, including participation in national robotics competitions. Caden and Quinn, students on the team, are here to receive the check. Yeah. Thank, yeah. You. Well, thank you for the check. Thank you guys. Uh, so we participate in a competition that costs a lot of money, like just to join it is like $5,000. So we always appreciate yeah. any money and it's great that we can do this. Now awesome. We spend more money on robots. Yeah. Yay. Good job, guys. All right, Christina. Uh, you're next. Oh, I'm going next again. Okay. <laughs> Our second $2,000 recipient is Grand Junction High School Band. <laughs> so we have Band Director Isaac Lavity. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, the Grand Junction High School Bands provide students with outstanding experiences that prepare them for the real world in a challenging and positive environment. The band program includes the marching band, concert bands, jazz ensembles, and more. Yep. Thank you for all yeah. you do, Isaac. Cool, thank you all. Amazing. Appreciate it. This is great. Thank I'm you sure guys. that you have lots of needs. We do. Lots of equipment and uh, scholarships for our, uh, this will be used for scholarships for sure. And for kids that, that can't afford to get their own instruments. That's and correct. Yeah, private, awesome. private lessons, chamber groups, all the different things. This will be a huge help. So. Awesome. Amazing. Yay. 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 Yeah. All right. All right. Thank Hand you. that on over. Congratulations. All right. Uh, next up, we have our $3,000 recipient, which is Casa of Mesa <laughs> County. <laughs> Awesome. So CASA's mission is to provide a voice in the court for victims of child abuse and neglect in Mesa County. So thank, thank you so you. much yes. for what you do. Thank you. Yeah. Director Joy Thompson is here. So thank you, Joy, and you. Uh, all the hard work that you yeah. all do. It's really Absolutely. an important organization. Absolutely. You know, and I, this is a huge shock to us. So we're very thrilled. And we have a program at CASA called Hope Circles. So that fits really nicely with Circle Fund because we believe that kids in foster care who have experienced abuse and neglect need all the hope they can get. So For sure. these funds yeah. will help us to provide that hope to kids and make sure that they heal from trauma and are safe yeah. and healthy in the future. Awesome. Yeah. So thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. So as usual in the Circle Fund, we give a lot of money to organizations that are helping kids in yes, so many ways. And absolutely. It's, it's wonderful. I have a lot of goosebumps going yeah, on Yeah, I know. Right like, don't Ooh. cry. That's fine. We're on camera. <laughs> 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 All right. So next up, our recipient is receiving a $5,000 check. So congratulations to Western Slope Against Trafficking. Yeah. 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 And this is Melissa Jefferson, and she's here to uh, accept a check. And their mission is to reduce and prevent human trafficking through outreach and partnerships with key community organizations. I have to admit that I don't know a lot about your organization. Can you tell us a bit about it? Yeah, so um, it's a task force that was formed in 2015 to um, try and get the word out about trafficking as kind of a hidden crime. And um, so over here on the Western Slope, we sometimes get a little bit forgotten. Then Front Range gets a lot of yeah. press and we don't. So we're out here trying to educate the community and, and um, law enforcement and other entities to try and reduce trafficking and, and 
just provide information, yeah. basically. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's awesome. All right. Thank you. Well, I tell you, this is totally unexpected oh. and so generous, you guys. This is amazing. Wow. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, our final recipient of the evening, and because we, we had a great quarter and everybody on the team was so busy and we worked so hard uh, and we have more money than we've ever, ever had to give away, yeah. our top uh, award this time is $15,000 and it's going to the Pro Bono Project of Mesa County. In partnership with the legal community, the Pro Bono Project provides access to legal services and education for low-income Mesa County residents. Their volunteer attorneys assist with a full range of civil legal problems, including domestic violences, family law, and landlord, tenant, and consumer law issues. Here's Executive Director Amanda Shepard. Thank you for being here, Amanda. Thank you, guys. Tell us a little bit about what this money can do for your organization. So obviously with COVID last year, the courts got shut down and, and a lot of people found themselves, you know, having to stay home and with, there was a rise in domestic violence. Um, we provide a lot of temporary protection order assistance. Um, and while the courts were shut down, we were kind of that liaison point to make sure that those folks weren't getting forgotten about um, and making sure that the low income residents of Mesa County are receiving legal services where they can't afford attorneys. Um, and kind of bridging that gap and making sure that they're not missed. We unfortunately had to cancel both of our fundraisers last year. Mm -hmm. um, so this money was a huge blessing. Um, and yes. That's awesome. We couldn't be more grateful. Oh. Um, and it will just continue to help our organization give back to the residents in this county. So thank you. Yeah. We're thank grateful. You. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> we are so grateful to all of these organizations and all of the volunteers across Mesa County that do such good work for everyone in our community. Absolutely. Alrighty, so that's a wrap. Thank you to everybody who nominated and voted. We couldn't do it without you, like Christy said at the very beginning. And thank you so much to our incredible nonprofits for doing such an amazing job. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, everyone. Uh, if you have any questions about these organizations, you'll find information on our website and on our social media with links to all of these great organizations. So look them up, donate more, help them out. Have a great evening. Mm -hmm. Bye. Thanks. Yeah.